Hi, today I'm going to read you The Nightingale by Hans Christian Andersen. Um, I will be reading a story every day and um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and so you'll then hear and get a notification each time I've read a story so you can then share it if you wish. Um, the Nightingale Long, long ago in China, there lived an emperor. He had the finest palace in the world. It had a beautiful garden and lovely woods by a lake. People came from far and wide to see it. They even wrote books about this lovely place. And they wrote about a nightingale that sang in the woods by the lake. One day, the emperor read about this nightingale. A nightingale, he cried. I never knew about this nightingale. And yet it says here that her song is the most beautiful thing there is. He turned to his minister of state. I wish to hear this nightingale tonight, he said. Go and find her now. The Minister of State did not even know what a nightingale looked like. But he searched the palace high and low and half the court searched with him. But they could not find the nightingale. Did anybody know where to find the nightingale? I know, said a little kitchen maid. I know the nightingale well. She lives in the woods by the lake and I shall take you there myself. First, they met a cow who mooed. Moo! What a lovely song, said the minister of state. No, said the kitchen maid. That is not the nightingale. That is a cow. We are still a long way off. Then they met a frog that croaked. Croak! There she goes, cried the Minister of State. A most beautiful song indeed. No, no, said the kitchen maid. That is not the nightingale. But it is not far now. It was evening now, and at last they heard the nightingale herself. They were quite enchanted. The emperor asks you to come and sing for him, said the minister of state. And the nightingale agreed. Everyone was there. The nightingale sat upon a golden perch. The emperor sat upon his golden throne and asked her to sing. The nightingale sang so sweetly that tears ran down the emperor's cheeks. She must stay with us and sing each night, the emperor announced. And so the nightingale stayed in a golden cage. Every day the servants took her out to fly, held fast by a silken ribbon. You must never let her go, the emperor commanded. And every night the nightingale sang. Her lovely music filled the emperor with joy. One day, a parcel came for the emperor. In it was a beautiful bird made of gold and precious stones. In its back was a key. It was a clockwork nightingale that could sing both day and night. The emperor was so delighted, he forgot about the real nightingale. She was sad and longed for her home. 
So the little kitchen maid opened up her cage and away the nightingale flew back to the woods by the lake. The clockwork bird had one song only. He sang it all the time and as he say, sang his tail went up and down. This bird is even better than the first, said everyone. And the emperor kept winding him up and the bird kept singing. A year went by. Then one day the clockwork bird cracked and broke. He could not sing a note. The clockmaker mended him but said, this bird is worn out. You may only wind him up once a year. The emperor was sad. Now I have no music at all, he sighed. Some years later, the emperor was ill. He lay in bed so ill that everybody thought he would die. But one evening, he heard a beautiful song outside his window. It was the little nightingale. She had heard that he was ill and had come to help the emperor. All night she sang the sweetest songs. And in the morning, the emperor was well again. Ever since then, the nightingale flies round the woods during the day and every night she comes to the Emperor of China to sing her lovely songs. Thank you.